Turkey's aging F-16 fighter jets seem to be hampering its ambitions of becoming a dominant military power in the region. The purchase of Rafale by its arch-rival Greece has created an urgency for Ankara to upgrade its fighter fleet. However, its options are limited. The Turkish Air Force had been denied the opportunity to purchase fifth-generation F-35 stealth jets as a result of its acquisition of Russia's S-400 air missile defense system. Despite being a NATO member, Turkey was sanctioned by Washington under the CAATSA. It was also expelled from the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program. Ankara had sought more than 100 Lockheed Martin F-35 fighters, with its military industry playing a key role in the aircraft's development and production. Some reports have indicated that discussions on the deal are not completely stopped, but there has been no progress yet. Thus, it will take at least a decade for the Turkish Air Force to field a capable fifth-generation aircraft, either its own or imported. Ankara may also be denied permission to purchase the 40 new Block 70 F-16s and 80 modernization kits it requested from the US in October 2021. The sale faces stiff opposition from members of Congress critical of Turkey's expanding relations with Moscow. The F-16 fleet serves as the backbone of the Turkish Air Force. In November last year, reports had indicated that talks were to progress on the strategic F-16, there has been no progress on that front either. One option for the Turkish Air Force could be the Pakistani JF-17 fighter aircraft. Turkey and Pakistan are close allies that want to extend and strengthen their military cooperation. Turkey is in the process of manufacturing other class corvettes for Pakistan while the latter could help it with the F-16 modernization program. In 2018, author, commentator, and former Air Force pilot, Kesar Tufal proposed that Turkey and Pakistan create an interim jet and cooperation may possibly take the character of a Block 4 JF-17 Thunder built by Turkey and Pakistan. The Pakistani Air Force will receive the first batch of JF-17 Thunder Block III fighters this year. The new model, which has been dubbed the PAF's first 4.5-generation fighter, is a significant upgrade over its Block I and II predecessors. Turkey might have a capable and formidable 4.5-generation fighter by the end of the decade if Ankara and Islamabad collaborate on a more sophisticated model of the JF-17. Ankara may also seek the J-10C Firebird from China. If Turkey has no other Western options, purchasing J-10C could make a lot of sense. Turkey could do a lot worse than the J-10C, if it needs an inexpensive, multi-role and relatively capable modern replacement for its F-16s that it can't buy from the West. Since it includes a ESA radar, the J-10C is a much cheaper and possibly more advanced 4.5-generation fighter than the Russian Sukhoi Su-35.